In this tutorial, we are going to unlock the power of AI right on your PC. Imagine having access to a vast library of free AI models that can tackle your tasks easily. For example, inside this weapon class, I want to fire multiple projectiles at once, and my assistant generates the code for me. Plus, it doubles as a powerful AI chat tool with tons of features, perfect for answering your daily or Unreal Engine questions. First thing first, we need to install Olama. Head over to this URL and download it for your operating system. Installing on Windows is super easy. Just download the file, run the installer, and click install. Once the installation is complete, you'll see a notification pop-up, which is a great sign. To confirm everything's working, open a new tab in your browser and type in localhost address and the Olama port. Now that the Olama is set up, it's time to install some AI models. Open the command prompt as an admin. Keep in mind that the AI models are large files. If you are on a slow connection or have limited bandwidth, you can download them manually. To browse available models, visit the Olama webpage and click on the models link. So which model you should pick? Let's explore some popular options. For instance, Meta's Llama models are highly regarded, but other companies have developed their own excellent models too. Click on the tags list to see different versions, for example, a model labeled 1B or 3B refers to its size in billions of parameters. A 1B model has 1 billion parameters. Larger models tend to be more powerful but require more resources. Fortunately, advancements in AI have made models smaller while maintaining performance. For instance, the latest Llama model has 70 billion parameters, yet it performs similarly to older models with 405 billion parameters. To download a model, you'll need its name and a tag. Scroll down the web page for more details about the models, including benchmark tables if available. In the command prompt, type Olama pull model name colon your optional tag. To locate the downloaded model files, go to your C drive, users, your profile, and the .olama folder. The models are stored in the blobs folder, and their configurations are in the manifests folder. I'll stop the downloading. If you don't have an offline backup, don't stop the download. Otherwise, copy them to the blobs and manifest folders. Then rerun the download command to register the files. You can download models directly using links available on this GitHub page. It also provides a handy table with model names, parameters, and file sizes. This site is also a very good place to find and download models. With your model installed, let's run it by using this command, olama run and your model name with the desired tag. The first time you run a model on Windows, it might take a moment to respond, but don't worry, it will work. Let's try it with a simple question. Who is Tim Sweeney? As you can see, Olama responds lightning fast. To demonstrate, I'll open Task Manager to show that this AI is using my GPU and it's running locally, not on the cloud. By the way, encoding graph is up because I'm recording this video in 4K and I hope you like the quality of my first 4K video. Let's ask another question. Tell me about Epic Games and Unreal Engine. Again, the response is quick and you'll notice a brief spike in GPU usage to process the answer. Olama has a variety of commands to explore. Type forward slash help to see the list. And you can get details for each command too. To dive deeper into performance, I'll enable verbose mode. Now, when you ask a question, the response includes detailed stats. 
For example, the output shows a speed of 136 tokens per second. Each token represents a word. Olama is already a powerful tool, but we can make it even better. In the next step, we'll give our assistant a slick UI and more features taking it beyond ChatGPT. To start, we need to install Docker. Download the .exe file for Docker and run it. Ensure that WSL2 is enabled. Begin the installation and click OK. Docker is a tool that allows you to run containers on Windows. Containers make it easy to package or run applications without requiring a separate Linux environment. Once the installation is complete, click the Close and Restart button. Your PC will restart to apply updates. After the restart, click Accept to launch Docker. While you can create a Docker account, I'll skip that for now, along with the optional survey. Now head to the Web UI GitHub page and scroll down to the Docker installation section. Depending on your GPU type, if you are not using an NVIDIA GPU, copy the relevant command from this section. If you are using an NVIDIA GPU, copy the specific command from this. You can paste this command into either Docker's terminal or a regular command prompt. When you hit enter, Docker will search for the required image. If it says it can't find it, that's okay. It will automatically start downloading the open web UI from the internet. Once the download is complete, you'll see a prompt asking for network access. When everything's ready, click the provided link to open the application. The first step in the application is to create an admin account. While other users can create their own accounts, the admin account is needed to manage everything. You can even run this setup on a local server, allowing the AI to be accessed from different devices on the same network or internet. Once inside the application, let's change the default model to Llama we downloaded earlier. You can set any model as the default one. Let's test it out with a question. Just like ChatGPT, you can create multiple chats on different topics with your assistant. As you can see, the responses are lightning fast. You can even add multiple AI models within a single chat or create temporary chats for specific tasks. This application is packed with features. If you'd like more tutorials exploring its capabilities, let me know in the comment section. Keep in mind that every time you restart your PC, you'll need to relaunch the Docker application to use Open Web UI. Occasionally, you may encounter issues. If the application isn't working, follow these steps. Open your web browser and navigate to your local host with the Olama port. You should see the message Olama is running. If you don't see this message, open a command prompt and type Olama serve. In my case, Olama is already running and an error message confirming it. Open Docker and navigate to the Open Web UI container. Check the logs and wait for the message indicating it's running. If the page still doesn't load, return the Docker and restart the Open Web UI container. Now that our base assistant is ready, let's install a code assistant to boost productivity. Head back to the models page and if you scroll down, you'll find the code llama model developed by Meta. There is also another well-known coder model you can try along with many others. Code Llama offers four main versions. These models are quite large, but the other models come with even more variations. The biggest size 32B has a performance score comparable to GPT-40. However, running it requires a high performance PC and GPU. Since I haven't tested that model yet, I can't comment on its performance. Let's stick with the Code Llama for now and install it. Copy the model's name, then open a new command prompt, or use the Docker's terminal. Type the command to download the model. I'll use the 13B version, though it's slow on my PC. 
If you have a fast internet connection and a powerful PC, feel free to download a larger version, otherwise opt for a smaller model. Once the download is complete, refresh the page and you'll see the new 13P model ready for use. We want to use this model directly inside Visual Studio Code to help us write code. Let's set up that. VS Code is a lightweight IDE packed with features and extensions. You'll love its simplicity, and the best part is that you don't need to install the full Visual Studio Suite to use it. Use the provided link or search for Visual Studio Code. It's less than 100 MB, super lightweight. The installation is simple if you know the next engineering. On the left side of the VS Code, you'll find important buttons like source control and extensions. I already installed the C, C++ extension from Microsoft. You need to install that and ensure it's from the official publisher. Also, install the c -sharp extension. You can follow the documentation link for direct installation or search it in the VS Code. If you already have Visual Studio installed, ensure the correct compiler version is activated. 14.38 for Unreal Engine 5.5 and earlier. If not, click on the link and scroll down until you find tools for Visual Studio and download the build tools and install it. All you need to do is install MSVC with the correct version I showed you. Keep in mind that you don't have to install the entire Visual Studio, just install the C++ 14.38 compiler. Before setting up IntelliSense, create a test project in Unreal Engine. The project must use C++. Because I have Visual Studio installed on my PC, it automatically opens Visual Studio, but we don't need that. Open the project in Unreal Engine and go to Editor Preferences. As a habit, I always set the window location to the main window. From the source code menu, switch the default ID to Visual Studio Code, then restart the editor. We need to generate the VS Code project by going to Tools, Refresh Visual Studio Code Project. Open your project root folder in VS Code and click on the I Trust button. Now open the C++ Properties JSON file and copy the settings from the documentation and paste them in the editor section of the configuration. On the bottom right, click on the Win32config and change it to this project config file. I don't have a plugin folder for this project, so I can delete that. And finally, I can remove the extra comma from the end. Now when you open a CPP file, IntelliSense will provide autocomplete suggestions, making coding much easier. As you can see, as when I write code, it gives me possible options. Let's add the Llama Coder extension to VS Code for AI-powered code assistance. Search for Llama Coder in the Extensions Marketplace. Its description includes a table showing model speeds on different GPUs and Mac. After installation, go to Settings and set the model to Custom. In the Custom field, input the name of the model you want to use, for example, Code Llama 13B we just downloaded. Open a project file like Weapon Component class. 
In the fire function, describe what you want the assistant to do in a comment, such as spawning multiple projectiles. Llama Coder will analyze the task and generate a solution. Press the tab key to accept its suggestion. It suggests to add a new variable inside the base projectile class and it's very interesting that it uses the get default object function to read the value so if it changed during the gameplay it always reads the original value from the class. This for loop never called if the value is 1 because how it increases the i value so there is another line of code to spawn only one projectile. This is a good starting point for you from an AI assistant that knows Unreal Engine and we don't need this old code. There are many other excellent extensions to consider. Continue.dev supports two models, one for chat and another for autocomplete and code generation. Kodi AI offers powerful coding assistance with a chat interface. Experiment with these tools and download different models to find what works best for you.